What kind of accident did you have? A mountain biking accident. This is the loneliest time of my life. I don't know. It's, Nobody can relate. No one can relate, and those who can, it's like they have a similar disposition. One of the things I've been trying uh, is, uh, is mushrooms. We're uh, on our way to Next Step Fitness, which is a rehabilitation center for people with paralysis. Um, and my cousin, Ezra, is. Uh, going to run two marathons. Yanni is a friend of mine who's the founder and um, he's gonna introduce us and show us around and hopefully we can uh, raise a bit of money. Hey, hey Yanni, how you doing? Nice to meet you. So I broke my neck in a diving accident in Manhattan Beach about 11 years ago. Just went for a swim and hit a sandbar and was instantly paralyzed. You obviously understand the importance of fitness and I mean, imagine not being able to go for a jog or exercise. And where, what developments are there? Well, some of the you know, improvements are right here inside Next Step. A lot of uh, locomotive therapy to neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Um, so there's a lot of progress in terms of just the overall you know, rehab aspect of it. The big issue is that insurance on average only carries people for 36 days after their injury. So you get 36 days of rehab, then you get sent home, and then you don't have access to any type of rehab and fitness for the rest of your life. Backstory, uh, active duty Air Force. So I just retired last week, actually. Um, 18 years in the Air Force as a major. Um, I used to run marathons, mm. triathlons. I mean, it's uh, it's it, your first impression is this is heartbreaking. Yeah, you know, see people's lives being taken from them, so to speak. I think it's really inspiring yeah. that you come in here and fight and These work. These guys won't let me quit. It was 404 was my fastest. Uh -huh. Right, I have to, yeah, I'm, I'm, running? I'm running for you. I'm, well, oh, if you'll let me, I'm running for you. Oh, awesome. Um, when I first woke up in the ICU and had my first physical therapy session, um, the session was me sitting up um, with, like, with the brace on for the first time. And that session lasted 10 seconds. I work out like four or five hours a day. Good for you. Have been, you felt any improvements? Yeah, man. Tell yeah. us about them. Uh, so right about nipple level down, I was paralyzed. Yeah, I mean, look at you now. There's a lot of steps to get to where you are now. I've been doing a lot of, a lot of research, a lot of trying everything and anything. There's papers that have shown um, in academic settings with rats positive results in spinal injuries with psilocybin. I have a cupboard full. Give me a ring. I did this thing like, hey, I need to go write a book. They Thanks. gave you a real purpose. Yeah. Gave, uh, exactly. Thanks, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You have an incredibly unique point of view that you can share with a lot of people. That was basically the epiphany. Yeah. That I could have told you that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. You're an inspiring guy. We, we yeah. really uh, you, find this you too, very... Been a huge fan. Thank you. Know, you. Uh, to see the positive energy and to see them with belief and hope that they can regain, and that they are, they yeah. are regenerating, they are changing their life for the better. Not only their their health with the condition they have, but their conditions are being altered, yeah. even if you know tiny bit by tiny bit. And you just have to love that kind of approach. He's trying so many different things, and you know, like for him, you know, like you know, mushrooms. You know, there is a an analogy to be made that they are professional athletes. Mm -hmm. You know, they are trying to get every ounce out of their body. Yeah. And that's what a professional athlete is trying to do at the highest level. Um, you're spending your life to master the art of some skill, craft, movement, sport, and that's the dedication that it takes for them to find any improvement.